So in the last video, I showed you guys how to create this little network of piping using my favorite command, connect into. And I'm gonna show you how I use connect into and why it works with these fixtures. So let's go ahead and delete all this pieces of pipe right here. So we'll filter it. We'll get rid of our plumbing fixtures and we'll just hit delete. And essentially what connect into does is it allows us to click on a fixture and then click connect into and we can basically select the connector we want to use and then select our main at the ceiling and Revit will automatically connect that piping and down to our fixture which is really convenient when we're modeling in either a floor plan or in a 3D. So let's do that from the 3D view again so we'll use connect into, we'll click on our fixture or our connector, we'll click our branch piping and you can look at that, that makes a really nice connection. We can also do it from a floor plan, okay? So we can basically just click our fixture, connect into, click the connector, and click our pipe. And same thing here, we can use connect into, click our connector, and click our pipe. And I've essentially finished that entire piping layout. And that was much faster because I've designed these fixtures and made them custom for working inside of Revit for plumbing designers. So let's take a look at what's going on inside these plumbing fixtures. So if I select one of them and I go to edit family, you're gonna see there's kind of a lot going on, okay? So I'm not gonna explain all of the complexity of these things, but essentially what I've done is I've created two types of connectors. And the connectors that are in the vertical are for utilizing the connect into command. But we can also use these connectors in the horizontal for the connect into command as well, but we just have to realize when and when not to use them. So I'm gonna show you when we can use them. So I'm gonna go back to my 3D view and let's just go ahead and delete these pieces of pipe over here and we'll just hit delete. And this time I'm gonna use my connect into from this water closet and we're gonna use connect into, select this vertical connector element right here hit OK, and we're gonna select our main at the ceiling. So that worked perfectly. But let's say I wanna connect this fixture to this water piping right here. So I'd wanna do that in the back of the fixture down here, and I'd wanna make that connection in the wall. Now I could draw it from a floor plan, but let's just do it from a 3D plan. So let's click on it. Let's click connect into. And this time we have to select this connector right here that's in the horizontal. So I'm gonna click OK, and then we'll just click this piece of pipe. And you can see Revit will automatically draw that piping to this piping that went down to my water closet. So I just need to know when to utilize which connector. And I've done that to make it easy on myself when I'm modeling. So as you can imagine, when I'm connecting all these fixtures, you just have to make sure you use the right connectors based on the types of layouts that you want. Now I can always just drag this piece maybe closer into the wall, just like that and everything's looking great. Now, if I want to see what it would look on a piece of paper using the annotation symbols, I would change to a medium level of detail and you could see maybe I would want to take that back even more to really show that T or I could change my scale to maybe a quarter inch and that's more conducive to how we'd want to show these on some contract documents. So you can see that using connect into is really powerful, but I want to show you some more techniques based on using these custom plumbing fixtures that I've created. So let's go ahead and delete all of this piping right here. So again, we'll get rid of our plumbing fixtures right here and then I'll just hit delete. And let's again, let's go ahead and do a network of piping. But this time I wanna bring it down in this wall and then connect all the fixtures at the wall. So let's see what we can do. So the first thing I want to do is kind of remove these from the system they're in. So I'm just gonna go up to piping system, edit the system and I'll just remove them from the system. Just hit okay and now they're empty. So I want to create a piping system real quick. So I'm just going to highlight all of them, go to piping system, and we'll do this as a domestic cold water system. Hit OK. And again, the first thing it's going to ask me is which connectors do I want to use? Now, for this type of system in the wall, I want to make sure I use those horizontal connectors. So the horizontal connectors are the first on the list, so I can just click OK for each one, just like that and essentially I've created a system using those connectors. And now I can go to the generate layout command and I can use Revit to automatically generate a layout for me. So basically I have to understand how this command works and it's not super easy, but I think I can mess with it a little bit. Let's just click the different solutions and try to find one that works. So let's click that one. That one doesn't look good. Let's keep going. No, 
No, that's almost there. Okay, that one looks like one I can use. So this one you can see the piping is behind the wall and it's going to each fixture just like this. So I like this one. So let's finish the layout. And now you can see Revit has created a layout inside the wall. So all I would have to do is maybe edit this so I can just move this maybe back in the wall a little bit just like that. And maybe I'll just take this piece of piping right here, I'll delete it. And then we can take our main from the ceiling and we'll just right click, draw pipe and I'll just drop it down and then we can use our trim command and trim these together and then we can use our trim command again and trim these together just like that. So now you can see I've created a layout very simply using the generate layout command without having to click on any of the fixtures just creating a system first and generating the layout based on what Revit was giving me for the solutions. So those are two methods that I really like to utilize. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how powerful it is to utilize all of these techniques to plumb up this whole entire fitness center in less than 10 minutes. So check out the next video.